Yeah, hello again, this is Andrew Culkin, and today I want to talk about uh, something that an alcoholic will always say at some point during their career. Uh, they'll always say it to the people in their life. And it, it, what they say, and it's the biggest red flag of all, um, is that, you know, um, it won't happen again. And generally, as it relates, it will definitely happen again. The reason why they're saying it won't happen again because it's attached to something that happened recently. Maybe they were out of control uh, at a party or at a social gathering. They were they got drunk on the floor. They got in a fight. Uh, there's something, some kind of drama that was attached to the evening. They were over indulgent with the alcohol. Maybe they got a DUI. It won't happen again until their second or third DUI, and then they won't have an option. The point here is, if someone says it won't happen again, I just can't point out any stronger than it's definitely going to happen again. What the alcoholic is doing, or the person who's addicted, is they're addressing the situation to the people around themselves. They're acknowledging it that they did wrong. And probably, deep down inside, they don't want it to happen again. But when a person has become chemically, emotionally, and physically addicted to alcohol, it's beyond their control a lot of the times. This is a cry out that they need uh, immediate help. They need to get into an, they, you know, either a family intervention or they need to volunteer to go to rehab facility. But it's a red flag that they need to start working on themselves. They need to go to some kind of group counseling. They need to start working on what they're doing. They need to admit that they have a problem and they need to admit that they need to do something about it. Until those things take place, rest assured, it's going to happen again. The, what's important, though, is the people that are around the alcoholic have to recognize that, have to recognize and understand uh, that when it does happen again, they need to call on the alcoholic. They need to call them out. They need to be able to address the problem. You said it wasn't going to happen two weeks ago, and here we are, right back to where we were. You need to address it. It's one of the reasons why family members are the first, now they're really the first responders to an alcoholic, and they have the best chance as long as they're not alcoholics themselves or some kind of, have some kind of problem themselves. And generally they don't. Usually an alcoholic is an individual many of the times. But to get back to what I was talking about, the family is the frontline defense for an alcoholic. They're the first people that can help an alcoholic. And when they hear it won't happen again, uh, they need to take action. They need to take note and use it for future reference for that alcoholic so they can throw it back in their face and make them understand that they have a bigger problem than the alcoholic ever realized. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helped. If that resonates with you, let me know. Uh, if it doesn't or you have a problem with it, that's fine too. I always say keep the comments positive and constructive. That's really all I'm interested in. You know, again, uh, I'm the author of Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It was the story of my wife's 20-year decline with alcoholism, and she passed away a little over three years ago. I also have a coaching program called There's an Alcoholic in the Family set to come out in September of 2023. I think that's all we got today. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again soon.